Hello guys, Rotodil here and today I have the new remote control for the DJI Tello. This is the drone you can see here. It's an amazing drone and I'm also putting a link to my review for this drone on the uh, i button above. As you can see now, this is the GameSeal T1D and I just made a quick unboxing because all you get in the box is just this manual in English and Chinese. Uh, other than that, the box is pretty empty but it's still high quality. Uh, you do get this uh, covering plastic and regarding the quality of the remote it's amazing i mean it's amazing the quality here is insane it feels like a super expensive remote and i've been doing reviews for quadcopters for almost three years now so i've seen many of these you do get the two gimbals over here the game serial logo and this opens up you can basically close it if you want and if you open up the if you open up this part you can basically put your phone and still get the fpv from the tele or just play another mobile game and still see the screen obviously. Um, we do have the buttons over here, a pair button, a C1 and C2 button and a menu button. I don't know what these guys are doing yet, but we are going for a flight really soon. If you're interested in more information about this uh, product, make sure you check the description down below for links uh, with deals for this uh, product. It's funny though, because we are seeing the buttons over here which are really lit up and this is uh, basically Xbox labeling and on these buttons we are seeing PlayStation labeling, so it's funny, but this is not a PlayStation or an, or an Xbox remote, obviously. Uh, you get an L1, L, uh, R1, R2, and L2 buttons over here. This is uh, enough to get you playing any game, by the way. And you also get the four buttons over here, which are also laid up, like I said. We get a micro USB plug over here and an on-off switch uh, with a reset button. Also, there is no option from what I'm seeing here to change batteries. This means that uh, you basically have one battery for this remote and you do get it charged up. It seems like it's fully charged once I received it. So we can still close it. We can play if the screen is outside, uh, if the screen is really big, for example, a tablet, or we can open it and put our screen over here, our mobile phone over here, and just control the DJI Tello like so. Other than that, we did get a manual. I'm gonna read the manual and connect everything up. And we are right now going for a flight. If you are for the first time on this channel, check the channel down below, channel description, and please subscribe if you wanna see more reviews for gadgets. I've, do I've done so many videos uh, of cool gadgets. And this is definitely an upgrade for DJI Tello, and we are having some cool stuff uh, coming up. One of them is sitting right below the camera, and that's gonna be the next video I'm gonna put out. So let's go for a flight and check out the Tello remote. Okay guys, so I just wanna show you the Tello in flight with the new remote control, the GameSeal T1D. And as you can see right now, I have the Tello over here on the couch, and I also have the remote control connected to my mobile phone. To get things started, you just have to uh, basically add the remote control via the phone's Bluetooth. That's the only thing you need to do. And then you can just use the, the Tello like you are using it without the remote control. To get it flying, I'm just gonna press the flight button and take off, that's it. The Tello is gonna go up in midair right now and you will see that I have controls over the drone uh, by using the gimbals on my remote control. One thing I, I want to mention is that you don't get the gimbals on the screen anymore and touching the screen will not do anything uh, to fly the drone, so you are getting like a really clear screen right now. Um, I also want to point out that using this uh, remote control, you can take really easy movements, really slow movements. Uh, this is something that was hard to achieve while using the screen because your fingers don't feel any gimbals. And right now it's very easy to make aggressive or even small movements. If I want to move it slowly, I can just take my hand and just lightly press the gimbal and then make precise decisions regarding the movement of the quadcopter. So this is another big thing that you have with this remote control. You also have quick shortcuts here. You can see that I have two buttons, the L1 and the R1. Pressing the R1 will, go, will change my phone into the photo shoot mode. So I can basically take a selfie right now with you guys. So I hope you are smiling. And that's it, we just took a selfie by pressing the remote control on the R1 button. If you wanna take video, I'm gonna shift uh, to video mode by pressing the L1 and pressing the L1 again is gonna start recording video like so. So basically we are now recording video. I do have interferences right now because I'm using a 2.4 gigahertz wireless audio transmission system. 
So this is going to interfere with my transmission with the drone, but you get the point and you're not going to have this interference, obviously. So all in all, I'm seeing a really good uh, product here. The Game Series T1D does it what it's supposed to do. You will have to carry, uh, obviously, another item if you want to use the, if you want to use this controller uh, with you. So all in all, doing a really good job controlling the drone. I really like what I'm seeing. Um, we're just gonna get the drone back to us. Moving back to uh, to uh, photos. Basically, you have to press the R1 button again. And all of the other buttons, I'm just going to stop recording video, moving back to photos right now. And all the other buttons are basically uh, pointless. You will not uh, get anything from them until you actually define what they do. So the L2, R2 buttons and all of these guys, they don't do anything else. But all in all, if you need an extra uh, accessory to control this drone, get a better and a precise uh, feel for the way you fly the drone, and also like I mentioned, get quick access to many of the buttons. This is a good uh, remote control that does the job. And on the menus, you'll see that once you connect the Bluetooth, you are getting controls right away. Let's get the quadcopter landing at our hand with the hand landing. I'm just going to get it close to me. That's it. And now I'm going to press on the tap to land on the hand landing. Confirm. And that's it, this is the Tello drone, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and this is the Game City T1D. Like always, you have information in the description of this video below uh, for more pricing and more information about this product. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I mentioned before, I have lots of cool gadgets coming up. So make sure you get subscribed to the channel by pressing on that red button down below. I was Rotodil, bye bye.